If you have been diagnosed with a blockage in your carotid artery, called carotid stenosis, you should be aware that there is an emerging technique that has demonstrated fairly good results in the management of carotid stenosis. Approximately a decade ago, I got involved in one of the first trials testing the ability of carotid stenting in relieving blockages in the carotid artery. As I'm sure all of you were aware, stents are little coils or spring-like structures that can be released within an artery that can push the plaque out of the way and open up the lumen of an artery. They have been traditionally used in the coronary arteries that supply blood to the heart and in the renal arteries which supply blood to the kidneys. About a decade ago, we started investigating the potential use of stenting in the carotid arteries and were involved in some of the pioneering studies that tested its efficacy. Very recently, the carotid revascularization and arterectomy versus stenting trial, which was an NIH-funded trial, reported its results comparing endarterectomy to stenting for relieving blockages in the carotid artery. Um, I was closely involved with this study and was the director of operations for this study. And what we found was that in a specific subset of patients, carotid stenting worked equally well compared to carotid endarterectomy. Carotid stenting involves passing a wire into the arterial system, usually through the artery in your groin, and passing that wire up into, through the big artery in your abdomen and thorax, and then passing it into the carotid artery, and using that wire to deliver a stent across the blockage. This procedure usually involves you coming in the morning of the surgery. The procedure itself takes about one hour, and after the procedure, there is a recovery period that lasts overnight. There is a small risk of a little piece of plaque dislodging during the procedure and causing a stroke. However, that percentage, that risk, is only to the tune of about 3 to 4 percent. And we do use a small filter device that we unfurl above where the blockage is to catch any debris that may be released during the procedure. We have had very good success with this procedure, and in addition to being part of the CREST trial, um, I have investigated the use of carotid stenting and published results in multiple journals. Um, and currently, my practice is evenly divided between carotid and arterectomy and carotid stenting. The biggest piece of advice I would like to give to patients who have carotid blockages is to approach a physician who's able to provide both these modalities of treatment. It is those physicians that will be able to give you an unbiased recommendation as to which treatment is best for you there are specific subsets of patients that will benefit from one treatment 